What's up, y'all? Back with another video. Uh, so, um, as you can tell by the title of this video, um, this is a price prediction for, you know, my favorite coin I'm holding right now, which I expect the most gains from, you know, out of my total top market cap coins, um, and that's NEO. So, I'm predicting uh, by the end of 2018, NEO's price to be somewhere around $769.00 to about $1,538, um, and I'll show you how I got there. Um, so right now, uh, NEO is, has a total market cap of around $5 billion. Um, $5 billion is the total market cap. The total market cap for the entire crypto space is $350 billion. So if we do 5 divided by 350, uh, Total, uh, the, the, the percentage of the total market cap that NEO currently has is just below uh, 1.5%. Um, so, uh, you know, seeing how NEO was, has been climbing in the ranks since this year started, um, I expect NEO to have somewhere um, between. Um, I, th I expected to gain, gain some value in the market cap. So um, I think that 1.5% will go up. Um, and it'll be somewhere around 2.5%. 2.5% uh, to 5% is what I'm assuming. Um, so if, we're, if, we're, if we stay at the total market cap right now, um, time, 350 billion times... Um, Five percent um, total market cap, total uh, value of NEO would be about one hundred and seventy-five dollars. So that's just uh, you know with the market cap staying as it is and NEO just gaining in um, market share of the crypto space, which I don't, you know, I don't expect the, the market cap to stay the same, and I don't think anybody does. Um, so, um, what will the total market cap be in? the end of the year um, I assume the, the total market cap will be somewhere between one one trillion and two trillion um, I think you know that's a fair assessment seeing that we're at 350 right now I even think that's somewhat conservative because uh, we could get into another one of those frenzy modes where you know people are Seeming to, seemingly to you know learn about blockchain right for the first time and they start buying and it creates a whole sense of FOMO. So could we go higher? I think so. Uh, but just for this purpose, um, we'll keep it as that. Um, but if we do uh, two trillion divided by. We'll do multiplied by five percent. Total market cap will be about one hundred billion. Uh, so if we take one hundred billion uh, hundred billion divided by sixty five million, um, that is the top of the range for the total market cap. So one thousand five hundred thirty-eight dollars. Um, if the market cap is at two trillion dollars, and Neo is holding about five percent of the total market cap, which I think is very possible. Um, you're, you're looking at the value of Neo of one thousand five hundred thirty-eight dollars. Uh, seeing the price right now as of seventy-seven dollars, that would be a great return over you know the next less than a year. Um, let's say the market cap only goes to, uh, 1 trillion, um, and it maintains its, uh, market cap of about two and a half percent. So, um, 1 trillion, uh, multiplied by... 
Guys, one trillion divided by um one point five trillion. Let's say that the market cap is one point five trillion, um, and Neo maintains a market share of one percent. Uh, that would be fifteen billion dollars. Um, if it does go up to the 5%, that would be uh, 15 times 5 is 75, I believe. 75 uh, billion would be the total market cap. 75 billion divided by the total circulating supply of NEO coins. Would have that be right around 1,153. Um, if we do go down to uh, 1 trillion as the total market cap and we divide um, the 2.5% of NEO's uh, potential market share um, and then take into account the circulating supply, uh, we would see the NEO price from about $769. So, low end, I think that NEO could be right around $769 per token. Um, high end, you know, or mid range, I think could be around $1,500. Um, and that's not dependent on whether China uh, eases regulation on ICOs or they make some type of announcement which says that they're uh, allowing ICOs to be performed only on NEO. Or some announcement saying that they've, uh, you know, partnered with Neo or other companies partnered with Neo. Um, this is just based on the current uh, growth we've seen with Neo. Me assuming it's going to continue to grab more market share along with the cat, the uh, total market cap increasing. So, um, yeah, and and that's not to say that you know Neo won't be added to something like Coinbase or to another. Uh, prominent exchange, you know, Gemini. Eventually, Gemini is going to have to start adding some other tokens, I think, uh, to stay competitive if Coinbase continues to do the same thing. So, if, you know, if NEO gets added to one of these larger exchanges, um, China uh, releases some type of notice saying that they're, you know, more accepting of NEO and its ICOs, I think we could see the price go a lot higher. Um, you know, we'll probably have some type of pullbacks in between, but, you know, right now I think Neo's in a great spot. It's one of the most promising projects. Um, I think as people learn more about Neo, um, more people are going to decide to choose to, to run their dApps on Neo instead of Ethereum. Um, you know, I think just with Ethereum's uh, low barrier to entry, uh, we're going to see a lot more scams being run on the Ethereum network, uh, which is going to create some type of distrust, which is going to clog the network, which is eventually going to, you know, maybe lead to other problems. You know, I don't think that Ethereum's going anywhere anytime soon, but I think people will begin to see the benefits of Neo and having um, a lot of the features that Neo has that that Ethereum just doesn't have. So. Um, yeah, that's my prediction for the price of NEO in the next uh, what's this, March, 12 months. I think by the end of the year, we could see that one to $2 trillion market cap. Um, and we could go a lot higher, you know. This space is not just for currency. It's not just for commodities. It's for everything. It's websites, it's commodities, it's gold, it's currencies. So we could see this market cap explode to trillions of dollars and still have a lot of room to grow um and that that would be amazing for a lot of us early investors so yeah that's my speech on uh neo the price of neo again at between 769 dollars 
and $1,538 by the end of the year. Um, I've made some other predictions which seem to run up, you know, turn out pretty fairly well. Um, you know, my Litecoin prediction for the end of 2017 was spot on. Um, uh, Omi's Go prediction, we're still working that out. Um, I've pretty much got out of my We Trust position. I sold that off a while back. I think I spoke about that. Um, but Neo, Neo, I think is going to be a big gainer in 20, 2018. And uh, I'm excited to see where the market goes. Um, so, yeah, if you like, guys like the video, uh, subscribe down below. Hit the like button. Um, I'll continue putting out some videos with my thoughts on crypto. Um, follow me on Instagram, legal underscore Jones. And y'all keep buying that crypto.